If you focus what you're doing specifically to target that demographic that you think is going to say yes, and they are not your ideal person that seeking results, then likely they're not going to be the people that are going to be able to create the results that you desire. They're not going to be the people that are going to say yes quickly. And to me, an ideal client is a person that has the ability to create to, to create results quickly with what you're teaching. And they say yes, because they know they've been looking for you. Number two, the second thing I want you to consider when you're putting your packages together is, um, is what you're charging, does what you're charging, does it reflect the value of what you're delivering. Now, I'm going to go a little bit deeper on this. Okay, this is what I see. Guys, please forgive me for this. I'm just going to be honest, okay? If I see another person, and I'm talking to you, yes. If I see another person doing a free masterclass, you're doing a free masterclass for what, one day, two days, three days, sometimes even five days. If I see another person saying, pay me whatever you want. If I see another person that's like, doing a, a pilot and you've been in business for five years, 10 years, 20 years, and 30 years, and you're thinking this is the way, this is the way to freedom. I want you to understand, just slap yourself on the hand right now. Like literally it is not. Okay. I started my company over 20 some years ago and I've always sold high ticket for my coaching and consulting. My initial coaching products were all mom coaching products. I've never sold coaching for low ticket, all right? I always understood that if what I was offering created a tremendous result in the life, let's say at that time of a mom, like I understood the cost of them not having my solutions, 